Hello everybody and welcome to Gertie's Anatomy. In this video series I want to dive deeper into some body parts of the hurdy-gurdy as I still get some questions how they are functioning or what they are doing. And today we want to start with the trumpet string, which is truly a unique thing the hurdy-gurdy owns. The trumpet strings are located over the tangent box here. And they are very special, only the hurdy-gurdy has trumpet strings and they make a buzzing sound with which you can play rhythms and accompany your melody playing. But the hurdy-gurdy didn't always have those trumpet strings. Um, at least we don't know. The organistrum, the hurdy-gurdy that you played with two players, and the symphonia, the box-shaped hurdy-gurdy of the medieval time, didn't seem to have a trumpet string. The first evidence of a trumpet string can be found in a painting, and the painting is by Hieronymus Bosch. He painted several instruments, for example a tiny harp and also bagpipes, but also a hurdy-gurdy. On this hurdy-gurdy there is a little woolen string, really fine line, that goes to the upper drone strings. And this is our first evidence that this hurdy-gurdy in the Renaissance could have had a trumpet string. So what is this little fine line woolen string that is tied around the trumpet string? It is in front of the string, tied around it and goes to a wooden pack. With this tuning pack you can tighten or loosen the tension on the string and this is what makes the string very sensitive or not sensitive at all to the impulses you give with the wheel. With that you can adjust how easy it is to make a buzzing noise. If you want to play the trumpet string on the hurdy-gurdy you have to turn the wheel and it is used as a bow which is touching the strings, also our trumpet strings. Basically the trumpet string can only play one tone, like a drone string. Video about drone strings will follow. It is moving over a movable bridge and this is what is taking all the impulses that you give to the wheel. If you give an impulse with is a short abrupt movement of the wheel, this little buzzing bridge is jumping and it's drumming on a little piece of wood. On historical hurdy-gurdies, they used to drum on the soundboard directly. But that damages the hurdy-gurdy over time. So in modern hurdy-gurdies, you have some extra little wood plates for that. The material, which these little movable bridges were made out, are different. In historical times, they could be from different woods or even bone. Today people are experimenting with different materials and I even have a 3D printed dog for that. Oh, this is by the way called chien or dog um, because of the barking sound the trumpet makes or seem to make for some people. I don't think that it sounds like a bark. But tell me your opinion, what do you think does it sound like? As you maybe heard from the word tyran, the this is a French part of the hurdy-gurdies. But there's also a strong hurdy-gurdy tradition in Hungary and they used a wood piece and put it under the string to adjust the pressure that the string has. Tuning of the trumpet string, which can be something of a adventure. Um, at first you have the normal tuning packs in the back like all the strings have. And what I do is I basically tune the string, then I adjust my tyran, which depends on what I want to play. Um, and then you have to control and hear back if the string is still in tune, because there is tension on two points of the string. This can be a little bit tricky and in the beginning even lead to a crisis. But with some exercise and at some point you will get used to that and it will be easy to adjust your tyran and still have a nicely tuned trumpet string. On my hurdy-gurdy I have three trumpet strings. One in D with a capo to E, one in C and one in G 
with a capital A. If you like, you can even experiment with playing two trumpet strings at once and you can give them different tensions with your tirant. And on really heavy impulses, you have both strings reacting to that. And on lighter ones, you just have the one that is more sensitive and it gives you a lot of colorful playing around with the buzzing strings and also gives your piece a little bit of spice. You can even play with all three drone strings. I, for example, can play a C major chord. On historical hurdy-gurdies, you mostly have one trumpet string and on the Baroque ones, one mouche, which is kind of a high drum string. So having two or three or maybe four trumpet strings is kind of a modern invention, but it gives you more freedom to experiment with your music. So in conclusion, the trumpet string is something really unique and you can have a lot of fun with it.